This demo covers how to degrease a copper plate. Do not begin this step until right before applying the hard ground. You will need a mixture of two and a half cups of water, two and a half cups of vinegar, and one tablespoon of salt. Mix this together beforehand. Lay out a baking dish that is large enough for your plate to lay flush with the bottom. The first step is to use whiting to remove oxidation. Whiting is essentially powdered chalk and works as a gentle abrasive. Sprinkle the whiting onto your plate. Add a little water. You will be working this into a paste using a brand new, clean paper towel. Do not use anything that could introduce oils or grease during this process. Buff the plate using medium pressure. Avoid touching the surface because your fingers will deposit oils. Be sure to get the edges. Do this for about two minutes, adding water and whiting as needed to maintain a consistency similar to toothpaste. Plates with more oxidation will take a little bit longer to buff. Once finished, thoroughly rinse the tray and plate with water, still being careful not to touch the surface of the plate. I set the entire dish under the faucet and use the spray nozzle to get any extra whiting off of the back of the plate or corners of the tray. Immediately dry the plate once it is no longer being washed. Do not let it sit with water on the surface. The plate can be submerged or the plate can be dry, but the combination of water and air cause a chemical reaction which makes the copper oxidize and it happens very quickly. Use clean, dry paper towels for this. The next step removes oils and degreases the surface. It requires a mixture of water, vinegar, and salt. It's best to mix this in advance so that you can shake or stir it before pouring because the salt sinks to the bottom. Once the plate is returned to the tray, pour the mixture over top. The copper must be completely submerged. If any edges poke out, they will start oxidizing. That mixture again is two and a half cups of water, two and a half cups of vinegar, and one tablespoon of salt. If you see the salt beginning to settle, agitate the bath to suspend it again. Let the plate sit for about five to 10 minutes until the copper is shiny and pinkish. Upon removing the plate, immediately use a clean paper towel to dry it. You can use a funnel to pour the salt, vinegar, water mixture back into its container for reuse. You could call it good here, but as an extra step, I like to submerge my plates in rubbing alcohol. It doesn't need to sit for any amount of time, just a dunking is fine. The rubbing alcohol can also be saved and reused after this. Dry the plate upon removal using clean paper towels. If the plate has been well cleaned, the rubbing alcohol will sheet off of it. Some printmakers choose to use only rubbing alcohol to degrease, but this does not have the slight polishing effect of the complete process. The plate is now clean and ready for ground. This process goes through a whole lot of paper towels, but you can reuse most of these. I store my used towels inside the tube. I couldn't use them for degreasing, but they are perfect for other things, like cleaning up ink.